Now I'm going to show you a very popular decrease technique called knitting two together, which is also abbreviated as K2 TOG in knitting patterns. You can also do purl two together, which is abbreviated as P2 TOG in knitting patterns. So what you do is you just knit up to where you're going to do your decrease or whatever your knitting pattern says. And then instead of going to knit as you normally would, you go through two of the stitches instead. So you go up through two stitches instead of just the top one. And then you just knit that. And all you're doing is just knitting two together as the name suggests. And now you've got one stitch here where you did have two. So there you go, you've decreased one stitch. Simple as that. So I'll show you that again. Instead of going through just this top stitch and knitting as normal, you go up through two stitches like that and knit them together just as you would a single knit stitch and you've created one one knit stitch from two. I'll show you that one more time. Instead of going to knit one stitch like that you go down to the next stitch under the next stitch and you knit you put your needle up through two stitches so in the normal knit you'll go up through one and then this one knit two together you literally knit two together by going up underneath two stitches and knit those together and you get one stitch created from two. So each time you decrease by one stitch. I'll just do one more. Now knit to the end. Now, to do a purl two together, you just purl as normal to where you want your decrease. And you just do very much similar to the knit two together, you just purl two together and so it's just Instead of going down through one stitch, you go down through two, like that, and pull those two together as you would a single one, pull the two stitches off, and there you go, you've decreased by one stitch. I'll show you that again. So instead of going <clears throat> so instead of going down through one stitch, you go down through two stitches and up and pull those two together like so. Just carry on doing that for as many decreases as you want each time the number of stitches will go down by one. An important thing to note for the K2 TOG technique, the knit two together or pull two together technique, is that it is right sloping. Now if you're a beginner you might think what is that about right sloping? Well for aesthetic purposes, decorative purposes, usually in a knitting pattern one decrease that is right sloping, such as K2 TOG, is paired on the same row 
with another decrease, which is left sloping. Do so you get, I mean, in knitting, what is mostly strived for is symmetry. Symmetry is important in knitting. Um, so what usually happens is you might get a knitting pattern that says knit three, K2 tog, knit three, then you can do a left sloping decrease to even up the right sloping decrease of a knit two tog. Examples of left sloping decreases that you can pair with K2 tog are SSK, which is slip one, slip one, knit two together. So that's SSK, and I'll show you that in an upcoming video. And there is also a slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, which is abbreviated as SKPO usually. And those are both left sloping techniques that are often paired with K2TOG. K2TOG is the definitely the most popular right sloping one. So even if you just le learn two decrease techniques, learn K2TOG and SSK, which is slip one, slip one, knit two together, which I'll show you in a later video, and then you can pair those as decreases. Those are the most popular ones that are paired in rows. So as I said before, you might have knit three, K2TOG, knit four, SSK, knit three. And that will give you a decrease of two stitches overall and they'll be balanced out because one will be left slo sloping and one will be right sloping. If you only stick to say K2 tog the whole way through and you just know one decrease then there's nothing wrong with that. It's just if you want absolute symmetry it's it's all for aesthetic reasons um, just to look more professional but it's all in the detail really. If you're a beginner you don't have to bother with that kind of thing but um, it's just something to note.